Welcome back to Nancy Drew Mystery of the Clue Bender Society. Today we are looking for something. What are we looking for? It's been a few days since I recorded. Ah! Looks like I need to find some quartz. There we go. A fine piece of blue quartz. Awesome. Let's see what else we can find. Oops. There we go. Nothing, apparently. Alrighty. That's the uh, X button. You're supposed to use the B button to run. You gotta use the B button to run. Right, let's see. Nothing there, I guess. What about here? Nothing there. Alright, let's go up here. And that's a dead end, so... Uh, yay, looking for quartz. Alright, let's see here. Up we go. And right here. Is there more pile? Let's see. I guess not. Run! Up here, what we got now? Ah, I'm just in the other side here. No quartz! Well, come on, game. We need to find some. We can't just go back with one piece. Apparently the game says you can. Fine. Well, there's still more to go. I lied. There's not. Okay, fine. We have one piece of quartz. Maybe that's all we need, and I just wasted time. Anywho. Let's just go ahead and leave now. I always hit the invisible wall. I remember doing that when I played this game before a long time ago. Happy time music time. That is right. I like this song. I should probably have recorded the clip of it before, but uh, oh well. You know what I'll do? I'll go ahead and save state here in town and record that song later. Alright. Good to see you again, miss. Any luck with that quartz? Your son Tommy's been very helpful. Yes, he's a he's a scamp, but I love him. He's always hanging around that old trail to Abert Abertnethy's place. Not a good idea, if you ask me. I think I had a bit of luck with a coal pile I found. What do you think? Can we make a trade? Now that's a fine hunk of blue quartz, Miss. You got yourself a deal. Where's my quartz? I mean, uh, oh, there it is. Alrighty, cool. And the fun part, I don't remember where that's supposed to be. Because I've had a, a bio test since I recorded last, and uh, yeah. My mind's been more on bio biologia than on Nancy Drew, the mystery of the Clue Hunter Society. Just out of curiosity, can we do anything in here now? Because there was nothing here before. Of course not. All right, let's see here. Um, I have a feeling talking to her is gonna do no good, but just in case. Nope, it's not. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't even remember where that like indentation. Were we supposed to find it now or whatever? Or whatever? What? What? Just on the hunch that this is a repeat. Enjoying your visit. Yeah, it's a repeat. Two. All right, so um, hit that transport button. Giant X button. 
There's not supposed to be a giant X button right there. Anyway, um... Let's go up this way. And... Nothing. Because I can't use the snow to leave, it looks like. So, something's gotta be done about this place here. But the question is, what's that something? Besides, we gotta find the Tom! Well, let's continue looking around this place. Maybe we'll find, the, find out what we need to do. Anything in here? Nothing is in here. Alright, let's try somewhere else. Game, thank you. Anything in old lady's backyard? There's old lady right there. I don't want to talk to her though. I'm trying to find out where we're supposed to be. I have a feeling it's not here. What's this going to? Oh, hello! Item. There's the hotspot to click. Another Tom page! But more importantly than the Tom page... Is this... Put the thing in, and... Secret passage, I guess? Looks like it. Huzzah! Secret passage. Alright, now. Let's solve this maze by taking the obvious route that I'm gonna bet is a dead end. whoop did do Am I right? Or is that... I can't tell. Yep, I'm right. Alright, so. Let's begin solving this maze. It's not too difficult if memory serves. You just gotta make sure you take all the right paths. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. A volume of a series of books. Alright, there we go. And then we gotta go up and around. Unless there's nothing down here, which I doubt. I was right. Just did that for fun. Da-dum! Da-dum! Song starts! Oh my gosh, that was off key. It's probably because I woke up in the middle of the night for a fire drill and I was, had like no sleep after that. Where am I? The horse statue? That means I'm in the manor hedge maze. And that means the statues are connected by underground tunnels. So that's how the crook got the wait for me. Well, well, Pumpkin. Looks like someone knows a little more about this place than they've been letting on. Marlow? What are you talking about? Come on, you can talk straighter than that, and you better. These tunnels were designed by Hollister himself. You couldn't possibly crack these things open all by your lonesome. Not on a day. Now come clean while you still have the chains. That'll be quite enough, sir. Or did you forget that her uncanny ability to solve puzzles is precisely the reason she's here in the first place? Fine, have it your way, Wheels. I got bigger fish to fry anyway. Nothing that includes any more such adolescent displays, I hope. It's my kid's birthday this weekend, if you must know. You gotta get to town and find a gift. Besides, she started it. Uh, no we didn't. But... Wow, there's a lot of people out here. Um, okay, let's talk about stuff we can talk about. I can't talk. Alright, um, our hard-boiled friend has a point, albeit a blunt one. The nature of the crime suggests an inside job. But the precision with which it was committed, inspired by advanced security measures, suggests something even more troublesome. The culprit had help? Precisely. So what do we do now that we think the, uh, there might be two bad guys? If indeed one of the partners is one of us, they may—they have to have some means of communication. And 
need to find out how. If I were to guess, I'd say there was probably a room in the manor still yet to be discovered. I believe I discovered most of Hollister's manor secrets. There are secret tunnels. Hey, but Hallways! Even the ladder leading to the roof. But I found nothing resembling a communications room. I think your times might be better spent looking for the outsider who has infiltrated our ranks. And how do you suggest she do that? She wouldn't know who belongs on this island and who doesn't. She just arrived here herself. Actually, I think I know someone who can help. James the Plumman says he knows every single face on this snowy hunk of coal. Ah, yes, James. In fact, I believe I heard him entering the manor garage just a few minutes ago. Why don't you see if he's still here? We will, but first... Who is Hollister? Hollister was a clue bender. Maybe the smartest of us all. He specialized in puzzles based on history. Hollister was obsessed with the past. That might be why he was drawn to this place. An entire island structured around the myth of the knight, the lady, and the river. He was also a brilliant engineer. He once constructed the mechanical man so convincing, it nearly landed a, street, a seat in the British Parliament. Hollister even designed the tunnel systems and many of the manor's secrets. But like Cornelius Abernathy before him, the temptations of safeguarding the world's secrets became too great. He attempted to sell the secrets to the Tom, but when he suspected he'd been discovered, he disappeared. No one has seen or heard from him since. Well, knowing that intel, let us begin. Be off. Did this all the ways again? Yeah, I had to. That curiosity, I'm, I'm always wondering what's on that up path for you. More maze, or just like nothing? So we're gonna take a quick detour and figure it out. What is this way? More maze, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna hold the fast forward key because it's big. Fun. Nothing that way. Oh, see so this place. No oh, dead end. There we go. That's not an exit? Okay, fine. You have to go all the way back to where we came in. I believe we've even pointed towards the garage, right? I think so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the music because I want to hear normal music instead of the gloomy, outdoorsy music. There we go. Now let's make our way to the garage. Which I just realized it may be a waste of time because as soon as we head to the garage, it's going to put that music back on. Yep. Oh well. Enjoy what last. Ah! Nancy, it's me, Greg. Rachel and I think we should all get together and compare notes. We're running out of time. That sounds like a good idea. Have you found anything? Maybe, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Thought you might have better luck. We need to set the cafe in the village. Be waiting. We'll get there soon. Right now, we need to talk to this guy. James! Thank you so much, James. Say, this might seem odd, but how many people are on this island right now that you've never seen before? Well, I've been everywhere on this rock, from the manor to the boat docks, and there's oh, two people that I wouldn't call regulars. Who? That Greg boy? And you. But uh, they're... Rachel? You mentioned a boat. Where's that? There's a tiny boat rental off run by a guy who calls himself Doyle. I picked up mining equipment from him sometimes too, by which I mean dynamite. There's probably safer ways to mine quartz, but not nearly as fun. Why do people need boats on that side of the island? There's nothing there. 
Previews to my dad to the lighthouse all the time. Kids around town say it's haunted, but I don't buy the nonsense like that. Neither do I. Alrighty, so we also... I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm tired of seeing those things flipping at me. Uh, we got this. This iron box puzzle. This iron puzzle box James found. Uh, is this... Alright, so this one looks like cool enough. It's just match the symbol. Okay. Um, we need to go find those things we have torn off from the tom with the symbols on it. Yeah, I'm on my way task list. Let's see here. Um, there's one. And it's the one I want. Alright, so you gotta make the arrow thing with the, like, base that's flat. Alright, let's do this. Uh, that. Awesome. What did we get from that? Oh, we got this. Looks like a music drum. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure we need more of these before we can do what we're supposed to do with it, but, uh... I would like to head back to town if I can take the snowmobile. Let's find out. I can. Uh, back to town we go. That's boo, Nancy. Yay, snowmobiling where you can't die. Unlike in Nancy Drew, I will fly Simple Creek. You can die by snowmobiling. This one you can, so and it's more fun. Because like, you gotta hit music instead of just like the standard game. I don't even think they play music for snowmobiling in Ice Simple Creek. Anyway, let's go, let's go down the trail to the place where we can get a name. Well, we should be there right now. I love it when I'm right. Alright, so back here we are. Alright, let's move it. Hello, Tommy. Your name was Tommy, right? Alrighty, let's see here. Gimme, give gimme, give get, thank you. To the cafe! We're probably gonna talk about talk to talk to talk 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 stuff. There's Greg, but where's Rachel? Or is it gonna be like, as soon as I talk to Greg, it's gonna enter like a cutscene? Yep! And then Rachel appears, right? Nancy! Glad you made it, okay? Where's Rachel? I don't know, she never showed. But I can't say I'm surprised. Why not? Don't you think she's kinda like, you know, kinda like flaky, like, you know? That's not very nice, Greg. I'm sorry. When I get nervous, I just say whatever comes to my mind. And... Um, these things make me nervous. What things? You know... Dates. Greg, this is not a... Buzz... <laughs> not gonna get that? Let's just talk about the case. What did you want to show me? This. I found it on the catwalk outside Marlowe's room. The catwalk ends into a brick wall. I'm sure it's hiding something, but how do you move a brick wall? Who knows, what you got? A coded message Greg found in the manor. Awesome. My phone's ringing again. I have to get this. Hello? Listen, Ned, I... Who's Ned? This is James. I got Vera working again, and I cleared that path up to our burden of these. Gotta go now. Ah, uh, it's a cold to deliver. Is 
some more talk about? Or it's gonna do the same thing again. Dang it! Nancy! Ah! I love doing that. That was fun. Alright. Great. We have great redux of that conversation. Time. I should probably check. Time? Ooh. Um... I kind of want to see a bird and a thee in this episode, so... What we're going to do is we're going to go see a bird and a thee and then leave. And then end the episode. So, let's do that. Mainly because one of the fun things we get to do is voice actor, which I like voice acting. I have a fun voice for her. And also we get to ride the snowmobile again! Yay! Here we go. La 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 snow feeling da na na da 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 riding on the snow la 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 I'm not singing in time with the song am I the road is off because of the way that he has to set up the goal. we should be there oh we're early cool. Yay, a birthdays! Let's see what she has to say. Ding dong! Hello, Nancy. You know who I am? I know a lot of things, Miss Drew. This is a small community, after all. And you are a Bernathy. Jillian a Bernathy. Any relation to Cornelius a Bernathy? Seems you know a lot of things too, Miss Drew. Small community. <laughs> so you must know about the Clue Benders? Yes, for a secret society. They're not very secretive, are they? Things aren't always what they seem, Miss Drew. The society likes to think they're a beacon of truth in the world. Like a lighthouse guiding us to a new age. But in reality, Nancy, they ruin lives and shroud us in the darkness of secrecy. My father knew this. Hollister knew this. Even Dr. Armstrong knew this. One of their own. He went into that lighthouse, and he never came back. Where does the Products Guild want? Do you speak Latin, Nancy? A little. Produxy means uh, to bring something forward, to reveal something. Precisely. Or, to put it another way, to bring to light. Good day, Miss Drew. That was a birth a burn the theme. We'll be back to see her later in the game, but for now, we can take a look at what this X is over here. That's that X. I wanna see what this X is up here. And there's a snowmobile. So we can take either snowmobile we want to leave. I'm gonna steal this one. Oh wait, wait, wait! This snowmobile seems be able to sing better days. This is Jillian Abernathy's fingerprint. I'll note that in my suspect journal. That's very suspicious. A snowmobile that you probably own. Oh, and a torn piece of a photo. I better hold on to this in case I need it later. And we're gonna do one more thing before we end things off. We're gonna ride back to town. Wee! I love it! Here we go! Riding a snowmobile, wheel, riding down the road of ice made by the snow. It is very fun to do, riding in the snow, listening to the snowmobile music. This is lots of fun to do, I'm having more fun than I did when I played it last time. Because this game actually loads on this computer, cause I finally have enough ram down the road I go get back to town, solve the mystery. We should be there right now. Perfect. Oh, we're back at the Cluebender Society. Alright, that works too. Uh, next time on the Institute of Mystery of the Cluebender Society, 
we shall begin doing something. I don't know what, though. We'll see what I decide to do next time. See you guys then. Yeah.